So, I'm on my walk, run, whatever it is that we call this. What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm currently doing my exercise, my four mile walk slash jog. So I'm sorry if the camera's a little shaky, like bugs flying in my face. I was telling Amber the other day, I wanna get back to the vlogs. I know that the style vlogs are always great and I'm always gonna do, damn, I smacked the crap out of that bug. Style vlogs are always gonna be there and I'm always gonna do them for you guys, but I really enjoy just vlogging and just talking and chopping it up with you guys and getting into topics. So let me know if you guys wanna get back into vlogging a little bit more heavily because that's definitely something that I enjoy a lot. So definitely let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, we're hopping into this vlog right now. So you guys can see I'm in activewear, Uniqlo tech shorts, my Solomon sneakers. Give you guys a quick little glimpse down there. Gildan tank top. And these guys that we'll get into later, these are actually brand new pair of Tom Fords that I've been eyeing for a long time and I finally pulled the trigger on. I apologize if I'm winded, but your boy is out here exercising and it's super hot. So yeah, these are my new Tom Fords. Absolutely love these. These things are sick. So we'll get a little bit further into these and the details of them when I get back. But yeah, I just wanted to chop it up with you guys and talk. So let's jump into some topics. It's super nice out today. So just getting into topics. Um, one of you guys did reach out and ask me, what are my thoughts on Celine fragrances? And I don't know if I briefly touched on it before, but I haven't had a chance to pick up any, but there is one in particular that I still wanna pick up. So maybe I will end up going and picking it up and reviewing it for you guys, but see if you guys can figure out which one it is that I actually really like. But I did get to smell a bunch of them when they first came out and I was kind of indecisive on the exact scent, but I think that I narrowed it down to one, which, I'll probably pick up soon, maybe in a week or two, I'll go and I'll just pick one up. But yeah, out of the whole collection, there was three that I that caught my attention. But one thing that I will say about it at the time, I don't know if maybe they have fixed it. And I know a lot of other people have told me the same thing when I was talking to them about it, is that the scent doesn't seem to last that long on the skin. Like typically with a lot of the fragrances that I do have, the thing that I do love about it the most, is that it does tend to last on clothing or just on your skin throughout the day and the scent it for the most part it does change a little bit but it doesn't fade and i felt like with the celine one it did fade quite a bit but the scent was really really nice and i really did enjoy it but that was pretty much the one thing that i didn't like about it but i'm hopeful that maybe in the months that have passed they have maybe improved on the longevity of the scent. So I would say that about it, but I will do a review on it when I pick it up. Uh, this is great. I feel like I haven't filmed off of, I'm just gonna move this ever so slightly to that way. I feel like I haven't filmed off of my camera in forever and I've missed it. Just finished cutting my hair. Back to my baldy. Anyways, so now that I'm home, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth on my Tom Ford Newman sunglasses that I was talking about earlier in the vlog. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the Newmans more in-depth details. And I just wanted to sit down with you guys. I haven't sat down and chatted with you guys in a while, so if you guys can see, I'm going to take you guys over to the rack because... One of my homies actually put me on, so shout out to you, you know who you are. The background should be a little bit more visually appealing. Ended up swapping out all the hangers for these really, really nice wooden hangers, jet black, everything. So kind of flows a lot better in the background. I'm gonna take you guys over there in a little bit to show you the new hangers and just kind of how clean the new setup is as far as the rack is going. If you guys don't know, wooden hangers are actually really, really good for your clothing. They keep everything pretty much the shape of the garment, whatever is on it, anything else, like wire hangers are the worst. So if you have wire hangers or plastic hangers, pretty much get rid of them just because they're not good for your clothing at all, especially if you wanna maintain the life of your clothing and space it out to have a super long life, put them on some wooden hangers. Let me show you guys that, and then we're gonna get into these new mints. So as you guys can see, I swapped every single hanger out. It took a little bit of time, but honestly, it's so 
so much more appealing. So anything, well, pretty much everything. I was gonna just say anything that's on this rack is on a black wooden hanger, but every single item that I own now, other than like knits and hoodies, I like to fold those just because for knits, I don't like anything to stretch out and you shouldn't hang your knits. Just uh, food for thought, if anybody didn't know that. But everything else is on these really, really nice wooden hangers. So we'll just pull this guy out so you guys can see how nice they are. I will link them in the description box if anybody is in the market for really, really nice black wooden hangers. Put it like that, so you guys can see it. But yeah, did all my color stories. So these are just the pieces that I've been messing with. Easier access if I wanna do like a reels or if I wanna just change my outfit for my content, it's just easier access for me with this bar that Amber made. I also did link, cause a lot of you guys were asking me about this fixture. Amber actually built me this for our first Christmas gift. She made me this whole thing from scratch, which is amazing, but there is something similar that I found online. So if you guys were interested in something like this for your home, for your office, closet, whatever it may be, I did link one that I found that's super, super similar. So check that out. Let's jump into these. Wait, let me clean them. Lenses are a little dirty. All right, guys. So let's get into my new Tom Ford Newman sunglasses. These are the frames that I showed you guys in the previous clips at the beginning of this vlog. So I have been eyeballing these frames for months now. And honestly, I've been waiting and waiting to pull the trigger on them because there's not a lot of stores that carry them in person. But finding them in store is pretty hard. Really suggest trying to find a store first to try them on your face just to see because they are an aviator frame, but it's like a classic pilot aviator. Very, very 80s, very, very 70s in the overall shape of the sunglass. As you guys can see, it kind of has these flaps on the side. So it's very vintage in its overall style and shape. But I loved that it was it was that vintage but also modern, which is something that Tom Ford does a lot with a lot of his frames and a lot of his clothing. It's just a very luxe feel on classic pieces. So these are what they look like on again. Now I ended up going and I don't know if I'm pointing in the right way because I'm not wearing my contacts. I was wearing my prescription glasses, but these are a classic aviator style shape kind of remind me of the ray-ban shooters i don't know if anybody's ever seen them but they're a vintage pair of ray-ban aviators that also feature this like circular people kind of say it's like a bullet hole target type thing i'll put one of the ray-bans on the side so you guys can kind of see the comparison that i'm drawing from but i love these tom fords they remind me of that mixed with something just very 80s 80s porn star, 80s rock star, you know. It's just like very, very vintage. I ended up going with the amber colored lens. Now I believe that they do do this in a purplish tint. I also put a picture of that one on the side so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I ended up really liking this black amber combination of the frame. I think that it looked like the best in my opinion and kind of suited my style the best. So. I'll show you guys kind of how I wear it. I did wear them already with a all camouflage outfit. I'll put a picture of that from my Instagram on the side also, but I'll show you guys kind of how I would rock these with some other outfits right now. Per usual, I'm just on cozy house vibes right now. I was about to exercise actually, and I have some Patagonia shorts, but honestly it looks pretty dope with this, even if I was just going out for a walk, coffee, whatever. I think that it's just a cool, fun shade, and it's just something different to a lot of the things that I do already have in my collection. I like that they're so different, and I like that the tint of the frame, you can see through clearer, and you could see my eyes. I like that a lot. I like the details on the side. And yeah, just like I said, there's a pair of Ray-Bans that I still haven't gotten, but from when I was younger, my dad used to always wear Ray-Ban shooters, so it's always been something that I admired and a frame that I really, really liked. So kind of was reminiscent of that for me personally. So that's why I really like these Tom Fords, but I'll uh, throw some different shirts on just so you guys can kind of see how they blend with different outfits and we'll continue with this vlog. All right. So here I have it paired with the Celine shirt, the floral shirt that I really, really like. And I feel like this is like one of the best 
pairs that you can do with it. I think going into summer and definitely spring, it's just like a good combination of the lighter tones mixed with some nice, really nice distressed denim and then some suede boots. So I think it really ties the whole look together with the sunglasses. I think that it's just a full vibe. So that's definitely another way that I would wear it, but there's so many endless options that you can wear these sunglasses with, and I'm super happy to have them in my collection finally. Just wanna give you guys a closer look at the tint so you guys can see that it is, it's called the amber tint. So it kinda is a mix between a brown and an orange, and then it just fades into a clear, which is really, really cool. So this is the lens that I chose. It will be in the description box below for you guys if you guys are interested in finding these frames easier. So I'll link it in the description box below for you guys. Tom Ford Newman sunglasses. So them on one more time, a white t-shirt, so you guys can see what they look like with a different vibe. Anyways, as I was telling you guys in the last vlog, I am still waiting for that Celine package with the extra special surprise that I can't wait to unveil for you guys. Not the surprise me and Amber are working on, just the super amazing piece that I've been waiting on so I could do a full video. So I can't get into it right now because due to the holiday weekend the package was delayed a little bit should be getting delivered probably today or tomorrow latest so look out for that unboxing video sometime this week because i'm super excited to do that for you guys and once it comes in i'm gonna unbox it for you guys show you guys how i'm gonna style it and just get into like the crazy details of the overall piece because there's so many different layers of this piece it's crazy. I can't wait to unbox it, open it, wear it, show you it in different lighting. Super, super excited for that piece to arrive. So I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up here, guys. I will see you later this week in that vlog, like I am saying. So if you're new to this channel, welcome again. My name is Ariel. I do luxury fashion lifestyle content. And if you enjoy content like this, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, drop me some comments below, letting me know your thoughts and feels about this vlog video. If you haven't already, definitely check me out on IG for daily fit pics and reels. I do a lot of fashion content, so if you like stuff like that, definitely check me out at ariel.rosado29. It will also be in the description box below, as well as all links to items in this video. So if you guys definitely like Tom Ford's, I'll link them in the description box below so you guys can find them easier. And I will see you guys in the next vlog later this week. Later, guys.